What's going on everybody? It's your boy Leonidas Melzar back with Eightfold Fitness and today if you've read the title we're doing another full day of eating. It's been a while since I did my first one and I know people really like the full day of eating videos especially with someone like me who is a bodybuilder and has to get enough protein in and a lot of people question what do vegan bodybuilders eat to get their protein in? Also, if you are new to the channel, if this is your first video you've seen of me, then hit the subscribe button down below and leave a like if you enjoy this type of content. I make some great vegan bodybuilding videos and some great nutritional videos as well, even for non-vegans. So if that sounds interesting to you, then yeah, hit the subscribe button and let's get into the full day of eating. So I'm gonna take you through my whole day of eating like I did in my last video. I'm gonna show you all the macros on the screen and then you'll see the total amount at the end of the video so you get a good idea of what a vegan bodybuilder eats. And it is currently 101 right now and I have yet to have anything to eat just because this morning I wasn't really hungry at all. I ate pretty late last night. Usually I'm not hungry in the mornings. I actually made a video about fasted exercise, so you can check that one out as well. But yeah, sometimes I just don't eat in the morning because I'm not hungry, and when you're not hungry, you should not force yourself to eat. But I'm about to head to the gym after I get my first meal in, so I wanted to show that to you guys. I'll be hitting a nice chest and triceps session right now. I got a nice... Nice outfit going on before the gym. And also I'll be showing you guys what's in this pot later, but for right now I'm not going to eat what I'm cooking for that. I'm actually going to have a classic peanut butter, granola, and banana sandwich. Lots of carbs, and it'll get me ready for the gym. All right, meal numero uno. We got the peanut butter, granola, and banana sandwich. What I'm using here is some healthy multigrain bread. I like uh, some type of multigrain or sprouted grain bread personally. Always go with the whole grain option. Do not buy white bread. Not nearly as many nutrients, not as much fiber or any fiber at all, I'm pretty sure. And also, this just has more protein. And the granola I'm using is pumpkin flax. It's got oat clusters, flax seeds, crisp brown rice, and pumpkin seeds. So that's really good. I have a serving of that. I used three tablespoons of natural peanut butter. Again, going with the all natural options here. Something like this, some natural creamy peanut butter, where literally the ingredients are just peanuts and again my mom actually buys this peanut butter from a local grocery store where you literally make the peanut butter in the grocery store like you watch it get made i haven't seen it yet but that sounds pretty cool and then we got half a banana so i'm going to show the macros on screen right now and that will be the first added to the total and i'm going to dig into this all right, here's what we had going on under the hood that I wanted to show you guys before I head out to the gym. It's one cup of rice, two cups of quinoa, and two cups of lentils. And what I do, I actually explained this in my last full day of eating video, is instead of water to cook this, I use some type of vegetable stock. And this time I used vegetable culinary stock. It was just from my local grocery store. So yeah, this should be awesome. Tons of protein, fiber, and minerals in this, and I'm gonna mix in some other stuff with it. You'll see it later, but I just wanted to check in before I head out to the gym. So we're gonna hit this fat chest and triceps workout, and I'll catch you guys after for the post-workout meal. Actually, before I go to the gym, I forgot to show you guys the vitamins I take, the vitamins I'm gonna take before the gym, I use this raw b12 supplement that my mom got me she's actually over here you can say hi mom <laughs> um but yeah this is a good supplement because it actually contains hopefully it focuses 
in eventually contains methylcobalamin instead of cyanocobalamin for B12 and methylcobalamin is the body's preferred one so try to get a B12 supplement with methylcobalamin and then I got this vegan vitamin D3 that I got on Amazon and I take one of the one of these each every few days I would say about three or four days all right just got back from the gym as you can see it's kind of hard to hold the camera up right now because I'm using my chest and shoulder my interior delts I should say to hold it up and I kind of crushed my chest today well not kinda I did crush my chest today so actually my post-workout meal is going to be Chipotle I'm going to Chipotle with my girlfriend who should be here shortly but while I wait, I, I needed just a little something to eat. So I grabbed a serving of these blue corn chips, just some easy calories, a uh, couple grams of protein in those, I believe. And then a fourth of a cup of deluxe mixed nuts. So I'm gonna add those to the total and I will catch you guys at Chipotle. All right, so. We were supposed to leave, me and my girlfriend, right when she got here, and she did just get here, and she surprised me with it right away. Oh man. Chipotle has a nice nutrition calculator on their website, so I'm probably just going to use that and show you the macros right now. A little pro tip for uh, first time Chipotle users. I don't even know. Consumers, get double rice and double beans. That's what I usually do. Did you get that for me? Mm -hmm. She did? She did? Okay, she knows my order well. Also got the sofritas in there and guac. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole order is rice, beans, uh, pico, corn salsa, lettuce, guac, sofritas, I think. Peppers and onions. Peppers and onions too, oh yeah, I even forgot my own order. But yeah, if you get double all the vegetables and not the meat or tofu, then it will cost exactly the same. So if some of you don't know that, do that if you want more free food. I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll catch you guys at the next meal. All right, coming at you guys with meal number three. It's a nice protein smoothie. If you guys remember my last video, I actually made another one of these. It was like 55 grams of protein. I put a bunch of stuff in there, but for this one, I don't put as much stuff in just because it doesn't mix as well. And my camera's about to die, so I gotta do this really quickly. But let me go over the ingredients that are in this smoothie. We got a cup of mixed berries, they're frozen mixed berries. I put a whole banana in, it didn't focus in, whatever. And then we put in about a cup or a cup and a half of soy milk. Then we add in two tablespoons of ground flax seed. Flax seed is great for your omega-3s on a vegan diet. Also is anti-inflammatory, bunch of benefits with flax seeds. And then we put in a scoop of this complete print plant protein powder from Amazon. 21 grams of protein per scoop, really good. And then another two tablespoons of natural peanut butter. And I absolutely love peanut butter, so I <laughs> try to incorporate it in anything I can, really. So I'm gonna mix this up, and I will catch you guys when it's all mixed up. And here we are. Go Bills. But yeah, here's a smoothie, pretty thick in there. It's delicious, I already had a couple sips. It's always delicious. Try this one out for yourself at home. These are really good. Protein filled, filled with antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, omega-3s. It's really just a completely nutrient dense packed smoothie. So yeah, try this one out. I'm gonna show the total macros on the screen right now. I'm gonna add that to our total for the day. And I'm gonna come back to the video with meal number four. All right guys, so actually my last meal, which isn't really a meal of the day, was three tablespoons. I consumed these off of camera. Three tablespoons of these, we got nuts, pumpkin seeds. I get these on Amazon for, I believe it's 20 bucks for five pounds. This is filled to like up to here or something like that. Amazing deal. Pumpkin seeds are very, very good for zinc and magnesium. They also got some other minerals in there. 
Good protein content. It's got a pretty decent amino acid profile as well. And I just really love them. They're good to put in shakes sometimes, but I didn't put them in my shake because it makes it a little too thick. So yeah, I just consumed these. And this was honestly my last meal of the day because I was just so full from all the food I ate. Um, this is usually the amount of food I eat and you're gonna see the macros for the pumpkin seeds right now. And we're gonna add that to the total. And our grand total for the day is 3,070 calories, 127 grams of protein, 149 grams of fat, and 322 grams of carbs. So yeah, these macros may seem surprising to some people, especially the protein, because it's so low for my body weight, personally. They say to get at, at least, I believe, yeah, at least 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And I weigh about 200 pounds, so 127 grams is cutting it pretty short. But this is around how much I eat literally every single day and I'm still making the same amount of gains I did when I tried to get more protein in throughout the day. I kind of force fed myself by the end of the day to get more protein in and I decided to stop doing that and honestly I'm still gaining muscle the same way I was before. Maybe it has a very small effect on muscle gains, maybe it slows it down a little bit but I'm still gaining the same amount of muscle I was before so 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight, uh, you can probably do a little less than that. It really all depends on your body and how much you exercise and what your goals are really. So for me, this works well. And that is going to conclude this full day of eating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys will stick around on the channel who are new here. And I will catch you guys in the next video.